I've been struggling lately. I am currently six weeks post COVID and well, it's been hard. Now, some of that struggle has been physical, even though I was extremely fortunate to have a pretty mild case. The post COVID fatigue, well, frankly, it's been debilitating. But the other part of my struggle has been mental, brought on by the tension between where I am and where I want to be, and my resistance to accepting. My, I caught myself the other day out on one of my 15 minute walks, wishing that I was out on one of my more typical one hour runs, a run that right now is well beyond what I am capable of physically. And instead of being present in that walk, instead of noticing the day, instead of being grateful that my body right now can walk for 15 minutes, I was focused on what I had lost. And I know many of us are struggling with that right now in this current pandemic reality. We want the world that we had and we are constantly confronted with the difference between what it was and what it is. And we feel that tension. We grow frustrated at our resistance to accept the current reality. Instead of living the life that we have, we're living the life that we lost. It makes me think back to one day, just a few weeks after my ex-husband abandoned me. I had been invited out to the lake with some friends and they were all laughing and playing and splashing around in the water. And I was a bit removed. I was just laying in a chair in the sun, just kind of thinking about my ex, thinking about what I had lost, mourning all of that, looking at my friends that were all in relationships and watching them interact and feeling, well, sorry for myself that I didn't have that. And as my mind just sort of fluttered about it, eventually landed on a movie that I had enjoyed in my youth stand by me. And I thought about my favorite character in that movie. His name was Gordy. And Gordy's older brother had been killed in a car accident. It was a tragic loss, as you can imagine. And his parents were incredibly traumatized by the experience. And throughout the movie, we saw that Gordy's parents were completely consumed by this grief that their living child was all but invisible to them as they focused on the child that they had lost. And I remember my heart hurting so much for Gordy because all he wanted was for his parents to see him, to acknowledge him. But yet moment after moment, this living, breathing child was pushed away for a memory. And then I looked up and I had a realization. I was pushing aside my living, breathing friends for a memory. I was so focused on what I had lost that I wasn't able to see, much less appreciate what I had. We can only hold on to so much. And so when we are grasping so tightly to what we no longer have, there's no room to hold on to anything new. Sometimes if we've lost a person, we think that holding on to them is a way of honoring them. That if we turn our attentions away from them, that we are somehow saying that they didn't matter. But that's not true, is it? We can at the same time acknowledge how important they were to us and accept that there is life after they've left us. Sometimes we have a hard time letting go because it becomes part of our identity. That's a bit of what I'm struggling with right now. I've always been the active person, the fit person, the healthy person. And right now when other than work, I'm pretty much curled up on the couch with a book on the good days or bad TV on the rough days. And that's in complete opposition to how I see myself. And so I'm fighting against it, simply causing myself additional misery. We hold on to what we have lost because it's familiar. 
It's almost like the security blanket that we had as kids. It brings us comfort. We hold on because any time you let go, there is that stomach plummeting moment while you take that leap of faith. And we fear that potential free fall so much more than we anticipate what might be at the end of that leap. And we hold on to what we have lost because, well, letting it go is the true ending, isn't it? Because as long as we're holding on, we can pretend. We can pretend that it's not over. We can pretend that maybe if we just grasp tightly enough, or maybe if we just see it a different way, or if we just wait long enough, that maybe it will come back. But letting go is a type of acceptance. It is a way of saying, this is it. Letting go is an acceptance of an ending. Letting go is an acceptance of where you are. Letting go is taking your energy from resisting that it's over and turning it into welcoming the new. Rather than living the life that you lost, live the life that you have. <laughs>